thing and most obvious this big old group eight there's a group two right here and there's a group of four so let's try our group of two first okay so group of two how many terms is it going to have it's going to have three variables okay so we can list them out it's going to be one one zero one and then it's going to be one zero zero one what are the things that are unchanging what are the things that are changing so it looks like these guys are all unchanging so we're stuck with a not c d and b doesn't matter so that's our first product term okay our group of four it's going to have two variables so it looks like we've got zero zero one one zero zero one zero zero one 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 zero one one zero okay what's unchanging this guy and this guy what is changing this column excuse me the second column and the third column so basically it doesn't matter about b or d but it has to be not a and it has to be c so that's our two variable uh, yeah our two variable product term from our four four uh, cell group okay our eight cell group it's going to be one variable okay what is the unchanging variable in this so it's zero one zero 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 one zero one and so on oops and so forth one one I'm going crazy here too many ones and zeros okay what is the unchanging variable this guy B doesn't matter what a C or D does you have to have a B so for this guy our Z making that the result there should be B or not a C or a not C D pretty cool huh let's just do a couple more examples here here's a three variable Carnot map looks like we've got a group of two right there got a group of two right there and we've got these things that are wrap around adjacencies okay so we've got two groups of two one group of four so let's start off with this group of two it looks like the only thing that's not changing in this well here let's just write them out again it's one 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 zero one so what are they again two cells for a three variable Carnot map how many variables are going to be in the product term let's go back up to our list and we write that down so two cells it's going to be a two variable product for a three uh, three variable Carnot map so what is unchanging a and C are unchanging. B can be one or a zero. It doesn't matter for B. Let's go to this guy. So it's zero, 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 one, zero. What are the unchanging terms? It looks like not A and not C. Now here's our four variable Carnot map. Should have just one variable in it. So it's zero, zero, zero. Zero, zero, one, one, zero, zero, one, zero, one. What is the unchanging variable? This guy right here, not to be. So summate the results. Neat, huh? Okay, let's go on to a four variable Carnot map example. Okay, so let's start grouping our cells here so it looks like we've got a group of two right here got a big old group of four right here and now we've got these two vertical columns of ones but again due to our wraparound adjacency 
that can be one big old group of eight. Okay, so let's deal with this guy right here. Okay, so it's a four variable Carnot map with two cells, so that means we should have three terms in here. What is the unchanging term in all of these things? So we're given 1011, 1010. What are the unchanging terms here? It's a, not B, C. Okay. Um, I just want uh, one more phrase. I'm not certain if I said something here. Uh, if I said something incorrectly, again, a two-cell grouping inside a four-variable Carnot map is three terms. I may have said two. Sorry about that. It's going to have three terms in. Okay. So now, four-cell grouping should have two terms in it. So what are the two terms here? So 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, that are 0, 1, 0, 0. OK, what are the two terms that are unchanging? This guy and this guy, B and not C. OK, our 8 variable Carnot map. What do we have here? We've got 0, 0, 0, 0. And then we also have So it looks like the only unchanging term in this is right here, not D. So summate our results, A, not B, C, or B, not C, or not D. Um, the book also makes use of, OK, add a 1 in such a place and determine what the, the next thing would be. So what we can do is add a 1 right there. See how I just added a 1? So now what is it? Well, it's the same thing as we just did. But we can add another group of 2. Or if we think about it, we can add another group of 4 right here. So what is this guy? Again, we're maximizing the size of our groups there. So. Now, now, just think about this. Okay, let's not list everything out. What is unchanging? Well, in this left to right row here, zero one is A B. It's it's not changing. So A A B, they've got to be zero one. Okay. But if you still want to list it out, you can do the, exactly that. 0, 1, 0, 0. Yeah, the more you use these things, the faster they'll come for you guys. OK, again, you can't buy this. you got to practice it. And what if you get a non-standard expression like this monstrosity right here? OK, look at all those terms. We're going to try to simplify this. We can totally do all our laws of Boolean algebra and you know, doing the, bringing everything to a standard term, uh, standard SOP expression. But we can also use our Carnot maps to make this a very systematized means of minimizing our expression. So is it a standard expression? No, it's not, because look at this guy. The first term here is missing our A. So, Let's use our numeric expansion. So B, C, D have to be 0, 0, 0, but A could be a 0 or a 1. What's this guy right here? 0, 1, 0, 0. This guy, 1, 1, 0, 0. 0, 0, 1, 1. 1, 0, 1, 1. Triple 0, 1. 